Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's my recent reads. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing well. So, um, I try and do this on Thursdays, but some days my schedule just does not work out. So I had some time off today and I said, mm, maybe we'll do our recent reads. Actually, this is the second time I'm filming it. I filmed this earlier in the week and, um, the sun was coming through the windows in the book nook and I just didn't like it. It looked too, I don't know, institutional. <laughs> So let's go through the books that I read. So this week I completed four books. Let's go from what I read first. So first I finished uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. This is Breakfast at Tiffany's and two other, two other stories or three other stories? Three and three other stories. Um, so it's Breakfast at Tiffany's, A Christmas Memory. Um, A Diamond Guitar and House of Flowers. My two favorite are absolutely Breakfast, Breakfast at Tiffany's and A Christmas Memory. Oh, Christmas Memory just gives you all the feels. So I completed this book. I know I said last week I wasn't going to, but I did. And um, if you've never read Truman Capote, absolutely add him to your list. If you have not read In Cold Blood, it is a favorite. It is so well written. One of the first reviews I ever did on BookTube. Um, but this was absolutely enjoyable. It's a short book. It's an easy book. Um, but his writing is really, really nice. I'm not sure. I'm going to put my star ratings down here because I kind of don't remember what I gave them. So I'll list them here. So highly recommended Breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay. Then I read um, by Eric LaRocca, uh, Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke and Other Misfortunes. This is my first experience with Eric LaRocca. Uh, I follow him on Twitter. I think think he's quite enjoyable. I know he has a new book out. And this is uh, a library hold that came in. And I had to read it. So uh, luckily, it's a very short read. Uh, the, first two, the first story has a, a journal entry style. You can get through that easily. 30% in an hour. Um, his, write, his writing is nice. There's little... I don't know what you want to say. Um, like little touchstones that kind of go throughout each story. So this is my first book of short stories by Eric LaRocca, and I really enjoyed it. Um, again, I'm going to put the star rating here. Uh, will I read him again? Absolutely. Um, the first story was interesting. I had a journal style entry. Um, two women are emailing and then I aming and there's like a relationship that happened and then there's kind of this other angle to their relationship and there's things that are demanded and all this. Uh, very interesting. The second two stories were actually, um, I think I like them a little bit better. They gave you more of a nuance of mystery, of oddness, of just had something a little more to it. Um, but overall, I enjoyed this book and I look forward to reading more Eric LaRocca um, in the future. Then I read, then I read The Road. The Road came out in 2006. Um, I had this, I purchased this after I saw him. I think he did an interview on Oprah and this started my little love-hate relationship with Cormac McCarthy. Um, and I love this book. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. Even with the sentence structure, um, the punctuation, characters not having names, all of that stuff. We're in the post-apocalyptic scenario here. So it's a, a man and his son, and they are um, traveling south after something happens to the world. Um, the sky is overcast. The water is gray. There is no vegetation. There is no life. Um, and the people that have survived are foraging and scrounging. There is no available source of food. Um, the people that are on the land have to forage and some have turned to cannibalism. So there's that. 
Uh, so what I did was I read this and then the next day after I read it, I had some time off work and I snuggled up with my dog and we watched the movie with Viggo Mortensen. Now the book did not give me all of the feels. Okay. There were some very powerful scenes in here. Um, and I'm not going to spoil it or anything like that, but primarily with, um, the man and who we assume is his wife. Um, super, super powerful, super well-written, just gripping. Seeing this play out 10 times even more affected by it. I was even more affected by this. Um, the ending made, the ending of the book, I was, mm, okay, nice. Mm. The ending of the movie, this did not look good at all, at all. I was ugly crying and it was just so good because it was the perfect movie and the perfect book for me at the perfect time. So if you've never read The Road, it is dark, it is treacherous, it is unforgiving. Um, there are shards of hope, but there is a lot of hopelessness in it. And um, it's, it's just a good story. It's just good. The stuff nightmares are made out of, but it's a good story. Okay, so I gave the road right there. You like how I'm doing that? Because <laughs> I honestly don't remember. Okay, then um, most recently I finished, I started this back in the fall and I just finished it um, this week. This is The Witches. This is just the dust jacket because the book is someplace else. The Witches by, Bre by um, Brenda Lozano. This is uh, translated from the Spanish by Heather Cleary. And this was a very different and interesting read for me. So it's based on Mexican culture. And we are talking about um, folk magic, cunindera, and bruja, and these people that are meant to be traditional healers. And there is a story about a cunindera that um, passes away, is murdered, and there's a journalist that is trying to um, put the story together. So there's two narratives that are going on. And um, the character of Gaspar, um, who later is uh, uh, known by Paloma, is very interesting. I enjoyed this. This was something that I normally don't read. So if you are into... Uh, maybe folklore, traditional healers, Mexican culture. Um, this could be for you. This book, because I started it in the fall and I just picked it up to finish it, it had that gap in there for me. Um, but I did, I did enjoy it. Um, like I said, it was something that I normally don't read. So I gave it this. <laughs> but if you're interested, um, in the witches. I highly recommend it. So let me read some blurbs on the back because I don't think it's that well known. Um, and this was a signed edition that I received from the strand. Braiding together the voices of two women, a mystic and a skeptic, witches, to borrow Brenda Lozano's words by way of Heather Cleary's translation, runs into shadows to bring light. This is a story of the world's repeated failure to control feminine power and the sheer magic of language itself. An enthralling, passionate story about secrets, both holy and profane. I enjoyed it. It was really good. Okay. And let's see. So that's what I read. And now I'm kind of in a bit of a slumpy. And if you see my video here, uh, it tells you a little bit about that. So bottom line is that I am just not gravitating to anything right now like I wanted to read. Um, it's just not pulling me in and I need to crawl out of this slump. So, um, I am taking note of some of the advice that I gave you all and I don't know what I'm going to pick up. I don't know. I have that last library hold came in and that is, um, George Saunders latest release. I have six days left on that. So I may want to crunch that out this weekend. I know it's week of the weird. I know, but I think 
that I may need to um, just get weird another week. I don't know. I just don't have it in me. Do you ever get like that? Comment down below and let me know. So we're, we're going to see what I decide to pick up this week. Oh, and I also got some book mail too. Let me share that with you. Okay, so a uh, subscriber, an awesome individual all around, Dave Brzezeski, um, sent me some copies to review. So we have uh, Solemn Curfew and Other Dark Tales by Bev Allen. So I'm in the middle of the first story on this, and it's really, really good. So let me read you the back. Um, and this is from Cat Haven Press, and Dave is one of the publishers of Cat Haven Press and an editor as well. And he is just has, he's full of so many stories. He's wonderful. Um, the back. Wickedness, swan songs, and longing in the fens. And the truth behind exactly what is needed to make the very finest of cheeses. A girl who knows what lives at the bottom of the garden, and a woman who has no idea what is living in hers. Not to mention the troubles of an ambitious castle cook who encounters some exceedingly unusual mushrooms. In these and four other dark fantasy tales, including one original to this first paperback edition, Bev Allen presents a feast of strangeness and folk horror. Clever, wry, in touch with the earth, and yes, often rather weird. And this is A Solemn Curfew and Other Dark Tales. And this is available on Amazon. I will put a link down below if you're interested. Not affiliated or anything like that. And then he was also gracious enough to send me... Ooh, yeah, it's a cult detective magazine. Nah, issue 9, winter 2022-2023. Over 200 pages of great new fiction reviews and articles. Hmm. This is going to be fun. So there are, oh boy. There are um, a section for fiction. We have a section for nonfiction. Shout out to Criminali, um, Dicing with Death, the Yellow King role-playing game. He just reviewed the Yellow King on his channel. Very, very cool. Dave has a nice introduction. And again, this is available on Amazon and it's nice. It's a good size. So thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. So I will read this and report back. And also, did you guys know that you can send me things in the mail? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you know or not. But um, quite often, I update my About section. And in the About section is um, a postal address for me. So uh, you can send things within reason. Within reason. Books are always appreciated. Um, you can write to me if you uh, want a pen pal. But um, yeah, let's keep it clean, people, okay? Like within reason. So um, yeah, so that is listed in my about, set, about section. Um, and that's basically it. So let's see. This week I, I put out um, some videos that were completely unexpected. I did my first top 10. That was a good one. Um, this week I'm going to be doing the Muppet tag, an original tag that was created by Gareth at his channel. That will be on Tuesday. Support Small Booktube is always on Sundays. I don't know if I'm going to stay, keep my recent reads on Thursday or not. It did work for me in the past, but I don't know. I don't know if Saturday is a better day for me. I don't know. We're going to try and keep it on Thursday, but this week I'm late. Sorry, guys. Life happens. All right. So that, is, oh, and then I'm also going to be doing um, an update on my scribe. So watch for that video as well. Okay. I think we're good. All right. So I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. Make sure, um, give this a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Um, check me out on the TikToks. My God, that TikTok. I am learning so much stuff over there. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse. I just made um, really healthy ice cream and hopefully I'm going to have it tonight. But honest to goodness, like I'm learning a lot over there and good things, not like, like, you know, not so good things, like good, healthy stuff. So uh, my TikTok is in my about section as well, in case you want to follow along and Watson, he's there as well. All right. So um, get some good reading on this week. I don't think I'm going to be doing any lives. I think I'm just going to chill and read and try and get out of this slump. 
All right, everyone. So I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now.